It was the coldest month of the year in Ohio 2022. During these cold and snowy times, the chaos divers were called to Ohio to solve the case of a missing woman. The diving team was about to begin a search for a 2005 Suzuki Forenza and the bodies of water with lower visibility. Unfortunately, while the diving team was putting in tireless efforts into finding that vehicle in Ohio Valley, they found 13 vehicles submerged in the bodies of water, including a black-colored Ford F-250 truck. It was a game-changing moment when the Ford, found among those 13 vehicles, turned out to be a lead in a 23-year-old FBI cold case. Who owned the black-colored Ford F-250, and what was inside it? How did the discovery of the vehicle solve a cold case in Ohio State? What made both chaos divers and depths of history work on this case? Welcome back to Mysterious Hook, where we shed light on under-the-radar, high-profile cases across the country. I'm Matt, and today we are looking at a 23-year-old FBI cold case solved by chaos divers and depths of history. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. Ohio is also known for the widest point along the Ohio River, which is approximately one mile at the Smithland Dam near Smithland. The average depth of the Ohio River is about 24 feet. The river is the source of drinking water for more than 5 million people and supports 160 species of fish. In addition, more than 30 million people live in the Ohio River Basin. But not many had guessed that the river was the spot of a crime. A volunteer diving team was brought into the case for searching for a disappeared woman near the Ohio Valley, and the team was named the Chaos Divers as they were focusing on the case. As many might know, Chaos Divers are compassionate people who started as an environmental cleanup to make a better place for all aquatic life, and later they transformed into selfless heroes. The diving angels always believe that many people disappearing with a vehicle for a long time had a high potential of being found in the water. So initially, they saw people by accident, and now they're doing it purposely, traveling the country and trying to bring closure to families of the disappeared ones, which is the ultimate aim. So they were working on Ohio State for a disappeared woman whose last cell phone ping was from Marina's location. The diving angels were looking for a vanished woman and her vehicle. While these people were looking into the bodies of water in Steubenville Marina, the Jefferson County officials contacted this team. The officials requested to have an eye on a black-colored Ford F-250 truck during their search. So having this in mind, the diving angels employed sonar technology to locate the vehicle of the disappeared woman. During the search for the woman, the Chaos Divers found a total of 13 vehicles, of which one matched the description given by the Jefferson County officials. The divers found a vehicle verified to be a black Ford F-250. Other verification hadn't been done since the plates weren't found. The team immediately reported their findings to the Jefferson County officials. The diving angels never knew that the discovery would bring closure to an unsolved 23-year-old FBI cold case of a disappeared older man named Charles Floyd Hanlon. But that was the time when chaos divers started to know more about Charles and his mysterious disappearance that haunted his family for two decades. Who was Charles Floyd Hanlon? Well, let us go back to 1999 to understand Charles a bit better. It was a blooming season in Bloomingdale, and the calendar pointed to October 10th, 1999. Born in 1940, the 59-year-old Charles was getting himself ready to leave in his four-door extended cab 1999 Ford pickup truck with Ohio license plate number BGA4049. His truck's wheels were heading towards Florida to pick up a motorcycle, but soon after that neither Charles nor his truck were ever found. Also, his family members never heard from him again. After his disappearance, the family members were shocked and immediately notified Jefferson County Sheriff's Office about Charles. When the officials questioned Charles's whereabouts, the family told them he was about to pick up a motorcycle in Florida. The family members added that they had no idea about his whereabouts. Also, they characterized Charles as 5'11", 178 pounds, Caucasian male with brown hair, eyes, and a mustache at the time of his disappearance. They even mentioned that Charles had medical conditions, including asthma and diabetes. 
Gathering all the information about Charles, officials confirmed that they were searching for him in Bloomingdale, Ohio, but no clues led them to Charles. Also, it was the late 1990s period when there were fewer technological advancements. Such factors contributed to converting the endangered missing person case into a cold one. Decades had gone by since Charles's disappearance, and still his family was left unanswered. After getting to know the mysterious disappearance story of Charles, the Diving Angels understood that they were connected to one of the most prominent disappeared person cases in the Ohio Valley. Charles would currently be 81, but at least after 23 long years, the Angels were kind enough to bring closure to the case. So after finishing their ongoing search for the vanished woman, the Chaos Divers were back in the Ohio Valley with another public-spirited team named the Depths of History. It was their second visit to this area, and they started to dive into the water to get back to the truck. When they got into some of the deeper areas of the Ohio River, of course, they might have felt that it was utterly dark. However, they tried to stand on bedrock. Usually, the bottom was mostly gravel if people were diving and got about 10 feet away from the shore. Most of the mud seemed to be near the shoreline. Nevertheless, nothing stopped the diving angels from discovering the vehicles. The first car was a Lincoln Navigator, linked to an insurance company, but the second vehicle was one of interest to local law enforcement. The diving angels found the truck similar to the description of the one belonging to Charles Hanlon, a Bloomingdale man who had been missing since 1999. So the Chaos Divers, Depths of History, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, and Toronto Fire pulled out of the river at the Steubenville Marina. Charles's family members, Carolyn Parr, kept one hand on her aunt, Ethel Stevens, and the other on her phone. As the two of them stood on the riverbank, their attention focused on the tow truck pulling a long-submerged Ford pickup out of the Ohio River. She felt that they had a lot of unanswered questions, but hopefully the discovery would help them discover what happened to Charles 23 years ago. The family members said that they were excited about this development. But unfortunately, since the truck was too bad a shape, Jefferson County Sheriff Fred Abdallah said it was hard to identify it at the scene correctly. They didn't get any VINs in the normal areas where they would be marked. The vehicle seemed so deteriorated and dirty. So after recovering, they just thought of moving the truck to a secure spot and getting it cleaned up so they could locate the VIN on the engine block or the frame. It was a tedious, time-consuming operation since they were going through every piece of dirt, silt, and debris in that vehicle. Fortunately, they matched the VIN found under years of dirt and debris on the truck's windshield to the VIN Ford Motor Company and had supplied them years ago after Charles had turned up missing. Later that day, Sheriff Fred Abdallah Jr. gave the family members the news that they had waited 23 years to hear. He said that Green's towing had been positively identified as the 1999 Ford Extended truck Charles was driving when he disappeared in October 1999. And after announcing, the officials thought it was heartbreaking and sad for the family, but Charles Hanlon's family would have slept easier that night as they finally got some closure. Able to tackle this kind of project alone. If we can offer closure to a family by what we're doing here today, that's great. And if it helps us in furthering some of our investigations, well, that's great too. But the main thing is trying to put closure to some of these things so that families can have some peace. Finally, the Chaos Divers of Southern Illinois were back in Jefferson County to take another stab at closing the book on some decades-old mysteries of the Ford truck, which they believe belonged to Charles. Ford F-250 come out of the water, he picked a good day to watch. Funded by Facebook and YouTube, their services are provided free of charge. It is a humbling and beautiful thing these diving angels are doing. Also, other teams across the country are doing the same thing, and the teams never stop there. These diving officials also believe that getting those cars out of the river was good for the environment. So after many hardships, the Chaos Divers, Toronto Fire, and the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office marked other vehicles with magnets and floating buoys, pulling several vehicles out of the water. Finally, Green's towing pulled them out of the rest of the way. Officials confirmed that they found roughly 13 vehicles in the Ohio River, from a green buoy to the train bridge. Sheriff Fred Abdallah Jr. said that they were ecstatic the Chaos Divers came, but he added that they wouldn't be able to tackle such kind of a project alone. 
We believe that offering such closure would help the investigators further their investigations and give the families of the disappeared ones some peace and healing time. Mysterious Hook would like to honor the Chaos Divers and Depths of History team who voluntarily performed such selfless service. Their work was a collaboration between the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, Toronto Fire, and other local agencies. Due to people's outstanding support, such volunteer search teams have solved missing person cold cases. So let's make it possible for Chaos Divers and Depths of History to provide free service to families and law enforcement by watching their documentaries, buying their merchandise, and donating. As always, please share your views in our comment section below. Also check out our other videos at Mysterious Hook if you would like to see similar cases. We will be back with a new one soon. Thank you for watching our video, and if you found this interesting, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.